there everyone hope you're doing good today's video is about what to do at home during this coronavirus stay at home situation so i got up with 10 things you could do at home five of these things are things that everyone could do and five other things are we muslims because i'm a muslim you could do especially because the special holy month of ramadan is approaching and a lot of people could benefit from this even non-muslims it doesn't matter it's a healthy lifestyle to adapt for a certain time it's like a way of cleaning the internal of your body your organs so the first five everyone could do the second pack of five is generally for Muslims but it could be adapted to non-Muslims as well so the first thing you could do since we're at home doing nothing is to learn a new program a software on your laptop for example if you don't know how to use Photoshop Adobe Photoshop or a video editor or any software you would like to learn like Java coding whatever you want to learn or everyone's personal activities of interest you could find a software to use you could also take a new certificate to add to your CV your resume for example if you want to learn a new program you could be an expert by taking a certificate for example digital marketing there are so many courses for free you could take online second thing on this list is that you could exercise a lot of people they know how to exercise only outside but if you are at home you could learn how to exercise at home and there are applications on your phone or on your laptop that you could download and you could actually exercise i would list one right here under so you could check it out it makes you feel good because most of the day you're just sitting on your laptop or watching a TV show and you feel like you're not being productive at all and you feel depressed or you feel bored but this thing will help you increase your productivity in a way the third thing on this list is that you could organize your sleeping pattern for example since most of us have a lockdown 24 hours or until like 7 you can not leave the house anymore you could actually sleep early and if you sleep early you wake up early you feel better you feel more active in your day because the night is for sleeping because it's dark and it's a good time to sleep and in the early mornings you could actually be productive early mornings do what you want to do do to-do lists of things you want to finish and work on them no matter how much pain it is work on them now focus on what you have now because maybe tomorrow after tomorrow you won't have the time that you have today the fourth thing is since i have ocd this helps me become more productive i love organizing everything precise so you could always change the furniture around in your room or in your house or help your mother or clean the storage look for things you don't need and throw or give to other people at the same time you will feel better because you live at home almost all the time currently so if you have a nice organized house you would feel comfortable living more in it look around your room if it's clean or not clean it look at your clothes cupboard are your clothes tidy neat or not you will feel much better and you will feel self-motivated and you have more value to yourself by just doing these little things that mean a lot and trust me you won't know until you actually do it the fifth thing is and this is very very important to do if you don't do this i could guarantee that you'll feel bad in your day and depressed or angry or pissed or bored or all these negative things try to sit in the sun for 15 minutes a day just try doing it whether it's in the backyard of your house or you could just open a window and just stare at the sun and just put your head in front of the sun close your eyes and just take a nice rest for 15 minutes it really helps ramadan is coming the holy month where we muslims fast from before sunrise to until the sunset 
So the first one on this list is to clean the house. Get prepared, become excited for Ramadan. Instead of having the dining table somewhere that we don't really use, put it somewhere visible because that's where we're gonna eat and that's where, where we as a family gonna enjoy. You know, food is one of the biggest satisfactions to a human being, especially these days because they can't do too much. The second thing on this list is to fast a few days before Ramadan so you can get used to it. We're addicted to coffee and it's very difficult to be away from coffee. So the first few days you'll get a headache, but if you're used to it, it won't affect you as much. You would know how to survive, <laughs> basically, with hunger. And you won't have that fear because if you don't fast, if you don't try something for a long time and then you suddenly go to an exam, for example, it is difficult. The third thing on this list is to learn new surahs. So, as being said, if you read Quran, you feel comfortable inside. You will be patient, you will be stress relief. So, you have nothing to lose to just listen to Quran for five minutes a day or read Quran for five minutes. At least you feel motivated doing something. You could also learn the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you memorize these, inshallah, you have a higher chance of entering heaven. So it's a win-win situation, spending that time doing these things. Whenever we humans actually learn something that's productive for us, we feel comfortable. It's hard to explain, but you can only feel this enjoyment after accomplishing that goal. It's like learning a language. You travel to that country that speaks that language, and then you see the benefits that you gained from learning that language. The fourth thing on this list is to learn how to cook new food recipes. You could learn how to cook anything really nowadays, especially having the access to YouTube, internet. You could learn so many great things and it's very useful to learn. You never know when you need something until you're in that situation. For example, if you have limited food and you don't know what to cook with it, you know how to use them if you know how to cook more. So you see, for example, mothers know what to do while we men, most of us, don't know what to cook or how to cook. But it's important for both genders, everyone, to learn how to cook. It is like learning how to survive in a forest when you have certain things. Example, if you don't have a lighter and you need to make fire, you don't know how to make fire. But if you learn the survival kit, for example, rubbing two woods and then blowing on the smoke and you get fire, that is something you need to know. And you wouldn't know until you are lost and you never know if you're gonna get lost or not. You don't know the future, but you always know the present because you're living it. The fifth thing is, is to be independent. Learn how to build things. Stop depending on other people. If you wanna fix a computer, learn how to fix it. Again, there's everything on YouTube. If you wanna build a table, if you wanna learn how to drill a wall, to make holes for certain things you want to put on the wall. Learn how to drill. You can do so many things with your time and become more productive, more independent. You don't need to hire someone or wait for someone to come to do these things for you. For example, nowadays we don't have barbers, right? We can learn how to cut. Of course, I know how to design my beard, but I don't know how to cut my hair, especially in the back. But what I can do is learn more practice makes you perfect so yeah that's the 10 things i wanted to share with you guys today i'm going to try i can't guarantee but if you see in the description bar below if you see an excel sheet it will help you organize your life into a better life you could feel more productive because if you're home just sitting on the laptop watching tv shows all day you won't feel good but if you do something for yourself that you always wanted to do, achieve, you will feel the value of time. Do something you always wanted to do. Become more organized. Download Outlook 
application on your phone, on your laptop, and merge all your emails into one inbox. Do videos, learn how to do them. Edit videos, learn how to edit them. And then you will feel great. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And I hope to see you guys later. Peace in the Middle East. Yeah.